This is Alger Gordon here. I have a special guest here today, um, Pedro Carvalho, uh, Bellator featherweight. So coming fight against Patricio Pitbull for the featherweight uh, title in the featherweight Grand Prix, March 13th at Mohegan Sun. Pedro, thank you for being on the show today, man. Uh, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Oh, always, man. Um, so obviously this is a big opportunity for you. Uh, this is your first professional title fight, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so how are you feeling just being part of the Grand Prix and then having the title shot next? Yeah, like uh, professional fighting, I, I, I fought like one like regional world belt like here in Ireland. But yeah, it's my first major world belt. And uh, it's nice, you know, like I just feel that uh, it's something that I deserve, you know, for all the sacrifice and hard work that I've been putting for years, you know, like I, since I'm 13 years old and that I decided that I want to be an MMA fighter, that I want to be the best in the world. I just been like working my ass like every single day, you know, so, um, and the results are there. I, I've been, I never said no to ballot or whoever they put in front of me in the short amount of time they always gave it to me. And I always went there and performed. So right now I just feel that it's something I deserve and it's something that is meant to be. I, I, I truly believe that all of this is, is meant to be, you know, and uh, I have absolutely no doubt that uh, in March 13, I'll be world champion. Oh, man, I like that. I like the confidence going in. Um, obviously, very young guy, 24 years of age. We happen to be the same age. Um, and, uh, we I saw your last fight against um Sam Cecilia. His, yeah, Cecilia and um very interesting grappling uh match. Um I saw some great grappling between the two of you, the exchange. Uh going into this fight, uh obviously Patricio has um has a strong grappling background. Do you think you have the advantage along with the size advantage against him going into this fight? I think I think the the major the major um, factor in this fight will be my pressure. You know, he, 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 he like, of course, he knows. Like, he's been he's been in the fight game for years, but uh, you know, I've been watching him for years. You know, and I know what I'm capable of. And neither him, neither any one of the guys in the tournament ever felt a pressure like the the one that I put. You know, and I always say this, and no one believes me until they get there. And then in the end, they all they all say the same, you know. And I think the major fact in this in this fight will be will be my pressure, and and my pace and cardio. You know, like I, for me, five five suits me perfect. For, for me, five five suits me even better than a three five minute round. You know, so I think all the factors are are, are really in my in my favor in in this particular matter. You know, of course is. Um, He's explosive, you know. He has power on his hands, and he is he has a, cho- a solid jiu-jitsu game. But um, I have also my a solid submission skills, you know. I have my striking game that I think is way more complete than him. You know, I'm I'm not only like one punch guy. You know, he's just like a counter punch guy. That's it. That that's all. That's all he have. He does he does that really good. But that's basically what he has, you know. So I think uh, that's a lot of. Uh, little holes that I, I see in this game, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him, and uh, we're gonna feel it. All right, man. Um, well, obviously, being from Portugal, you know, not a lot of big names um, have come out of there. What does it mean to just representing your country of Portugal, and even just talk about like you know what inspired you? I know you said when you since you were um, 13, you wanted to be in this uh sport and pursue this career like what inspired you to take this up and also representing your country i mean it's, it's been amazing you know because um i have this thing that since i, I had i had decided to to be an MMA fighter that uh, you know i always had this debate with like the teachers and everyone around me like mm-hmm. every time i said that i will be the best in the world with an mma fighter everyone said like Pierre, you have to be realistic that that you know what kind of examples we have in Portugal of su- uh, successful people in MMA in Portugal, and I said like no one, and and they always you know say the same, but I'll say, but I'll be uh, I'll be there. It doesn't matter like if I have example or not, like I'll be there, you know. So I just I just stick with with their with their dream and their 
for me it was a reality it wasn't even a dream it was a reality and so be right now at this stage fighting for a world belt you know and representing my country you know and uh, in some way help the mma in my country is is, is absolutely it, i have no words you know because it's, it's so good to be able to help my country and um, and eventually help the sports in my country in a way their other future athletes doesn't have to get out of of portugal and and they have all the facilities and and opportunities to uh, live train compete at the highest levels in portugal you know so i know i know it's it's really tough i, I can tell i i can tell by my own experience how, how tough it is you know to get out of your own country be a, be far from your family you know mm. just pursue your dream so if i can help in some way to help future generations in uh, in that matters that uh, it's 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 really you know priceless for me mm, man. that's that's pretty good uh be an inspiration to your country because you know um like you said you want to provide uh you know opportunities for them and that's pretty good and to you know have inspiration like you laying the foundation you know letting everybody know home you can do anything that you aspire to be so that's pretty good you know and, uh, and how has the uh, the camp been going actually the training preparation and all that stuff i mean i'm i spent 365 days in camp you know <laughs> it just the the intensity just goes goes up you know like but it's, it's been it's been great you know i'm uh, I'm eight weeks away from the fight and, and I'm already like hitting numbers in my performance like they are never hit before. You know, I'm I'm already in a phenomenal shape. I, I, I could do five five minute rounds mm -hmm. easily. The next Saturday, you know, there will be no, there wouldn't be a problem, you know. So um yeah, I feel great and uh, I feel happy that I still have eight more weeks to uh, make more adjustments, improve some some fields, you know. So um I have no doubts that in 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 March 13, eight weeks, I'll I'll put on a five star performance and I'll not only beat Patricia, I will dominate him and finish him. That's that's it. Oh yeah, man, I really I'm liking this confidence for sure. And I know um during the selection process from your last fight, um were you surprised that Patricio picked you and not anybody else? uh at the time I, I like at the time I, I didn't even think about it i was just like like a kid like i tried to from the outside i tried to play cool you know but for me i looked like a, i was like a kid i was jumping all on the plate i was super happy but you know i like till today i i truly don't know i like i have some ideas why it, it picked me like it can be the the fact that i'm the the guy's less experienced guy um maybe underestimate me or maybe like you said you want to fight the svg guy to start this pitbull brothers against the svg thing you know like it could be a lot of factors you know but i never really thought about because that doesn't really matter what really matters for me is that i'm scheduled to fight him that's it i don't care if 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 he takes me serious or not the outcome will be always the same i'll beat him and that's it so the reason why he picked me like I truly, I think I will never know, you know, but what matters is that he picked me, you know, so that's, in the end of the day, for me, that's, that's all that matters. And obviously, um, you know, like I said, being a young guy, you know, being 24 years of age, uh, you know, you haven't even reached the prime of your career yet, you know, being in this uh, platform at this age, you know, we've seen a lot of fighters, you know, when it comes to I wouldn't say pressure like this, but to an opportunity like this, some succeed, some fold. What have you taken to prepare yourself for this moment? The lot since since I like I said, like since I, I, I made the decision of of, of, of being a fighter, not, not only the decision, you know, I fall in love for the sport, but since I, I, I choose this path, uh, I've been in like most of the times I've been in such a bad and pressure moments in my life like really like pressure like pressure moments so for me right now being fighting for a world belt it's not it's not pressure it's just a gift you know i don't feel pressure at all i just feel gifted i just feel that finally i i i receive something that i deserve you know uh and and besides my goals are 
my goal is not being Bellator champion. Being Bellator champion will, will only <clears throat> be the beginning of what I want. I want to be one of the greatest. You know, I want to be in history books. So f- to me to reach that, I'm I'm still way far away. The fact of me become Bellator champion doesn't mean that I'm instantly on history books. I still have way way more work to do. So for me, being Bellator champion will be only like just another step, another big step, huge step. Is it going to be a historical step? Of course, but it's just going to be another step. You know, after I after I, I beat Patricia, I'm going to do exactly the same that I did before. I'm going to back to, to to Ireland, back training, get ready for the night fight, and and that's it. You know, there's no time for celebrating. Like right now, I just it's time to work. You know, I, 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 even after beat Patricia, I still have to beat two other guys to win the tournament. So I'm. Doesn't uh, pressure for me? Just I, I love pressure. You know, I, I I'm always looking for put more pressure and more pressure in my shoulders. I just I, I just love it. You know, so um, like I've said, I, I've been through so bad moments in my life. So much, so many real pressure moments. You know, that uh, right now I feel that this is not a pressure moment. This is just a gift. You know, this is just a, a real like uh, a present. From 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 life, you know. So I'm just enjoying everything, and uh, in that day, I'm just doing what I, I love. That in the end of the day, that is fighting. I love fighting, so I'm doing what I love, being paid, and become world champion. So there's no pressure about it. There's only good things, and that's it. Yeah, man. and um, you know, like a company of Bellator, you know, they're 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 well known, and you know, every you know, this is the new wave, the next gen. You know, do you see yourself being coming one of the marquee stars for the company? I don't. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I, I'll see time by time. I just, I just try to focus on myself. I just trying to focus in in beating the best names that everyone. I just want to be on the on 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 the first row on the first row. Just waiting for everyone to say, "Oh, this is the best." No, this is the best. Oh, this is the guy. And I'll make the list, and I just want to whip them all. That's it. You know, they they. I know that even after I beat Patricio, people are gonna say. Oh, Sanchez, oh, McKee, oh, these. They always going to have someone. My paper, my, my, my job here is go out there, beat them, dominate them, and just ask who's next, what's now, you know? That's it. That's what a truly best guy does, you know? He doesn't complain. He just waits for his opportunities, and soon the opportunity arrives, he does. He does what he, what he says that he will do. And I will beat them all in the end of the day. I will win this tournament. And uh, in the end of the day, the only thing that I'm going to say is, what's next? What's now? You know, that's it. And how has, you know, your family, man, how has your family help inspire you and support you just through everything, your career? How, how has that played a huge effect on you? My family always has a massive, massive uh, paper role in... Um, in my career, you know, my mom, I was raised my, by my mom and my aunt. They, they fully support me in anything, you know, anything that I will say that I will do, they, they will support. And this was like, they were always were there 100 percent, you know, and um, and even then, like my girlfriend and then we have a son. And that was like after I, after I, my 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 son born, that was just like a life changer. That was a game changer for me, you know, because after that, like until that moment, I was just like me being trying the best in the world, blah blah blah, all the things, okay. But after he born and I, I I have him in my in my in my own hands, you know, everything changed, you know, like. After that moment, I was fighting not only for me, I was fighting for my son, I was fighting for my, my the future of my son. And that's a big, big thing, you know, only like when you have one that you really feel and know. And um, and the fact is, since my, my, my son born, I did three fights and I finished my my three opponents you know that's that's just like my focus it's completely different because like i've said i'm i'm not fighting for myself now if i'm i'm fighting for support my family you know to give the best wealth to my family that that i can get you know so um and that's that's a huge thing for me and um 
and I, I can see, I can feel their my performance, everything changes because, like I've said, my my focus now is way way bigger because, uh, like I've said, I have my my son depending on me. I, I'm not only fighting for myself; I'm, fi I'm fighting for someone else. Oh, man. Very, very, very touching, very touching. Uh, and, um, you know, a lot of, I know a lot of you guys are, are parents and, you know, your opponent's even a family man as well, too. So, you know, the fact that, you know, your kids are stepping stone and inspiration for you guys says a lot. And that's, um, I, I, I find that intriguing about athletes, especially in the world combative sports, you know, you have someone looking up to you and send the foundation just for them to let them know, like, you know, Hey, you can inspire and accomplish anything. So that's good that you're being that, you know, that huge role model. Um, I, I myself can relate. Uh, I don't have a child, but you know, like you say, you were raised by your mother and aunt. Yeah. I didn't have, you know, um, once I didn't have my, a male figure in my life, but my mother and my sister have raised me to the man that I am today. So, you know, just something I could empathize and relate to, you know, it says a lot. And, um, Obviously, training in uh, SBG Ireland, you know, was like training in that atmosphere. You know, having Coach Kavanaugh uh, on Rody, what, what's what's it like? You know, having those guys in your corner. I mean, it's just like it, it's just phenomenal. You know, that's the that's the reason why SBG and I say and I will say the amount of times that I need SBG is the best team in the world in all period, and you can see you can feel the atmosphere. For example, now we have the. Um, the Bellator Dublin card coming up and we have a lot of guys from the gym fighting on that card myself and the atmosphere in the match is just unbelievable because it's it's a huge group of people training for important fights and the pace that we are just pushing each other to the limit you know and and it's 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 unreal like every time this happens every time there's a I have I I've, I've been lucky because my fights are being scheduled all always like close to the to the Dublin card so it's been good to having my camp and and be surrounded of 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 my teammates that are also training for 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 the Dublin card and uh, and it's been amazing and since I and talking about like the coaches around me you know John Kavanaugh you know Sergey. It's just uh, I improved so much, you know. And there's one name that I think that goes off the radar, you know. That's but that's normal. Yeah, that's my my co my striking coach, David Jones. Is is the man? Is the man be behind my my striking game? Is is absolutely mastermind. And everyone everyone in in, in the gym that starts to work with him, and you can see the the results. And um, it's absolutely phenomenal. The, the 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 facilities, the team, it's just like the mindset in that gym is just different, you know. And um, that's that's the reason why we have so more so much athletes on on, on the top of the list of, of of division, and still more to come. You know, we have we have really like ten, at least ten guys that are like. One one and oh or debut, you know, and and they have like already a Bellator contract, and they are beasts, you know. And I have absolutely no no um, no doubt that the true golden era of SPG is still to come, you know. So it's 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 really it's really really a amazing experience to be uh, be around all these guys. Yeah, you guys definitely have a, a great name of people, you know, like like you said, Bellator uh, Dublin. Um, I've seen a lot of, you know, a lot of your teammates perform and I know you probably wanted this fight to possibly be on the Dublin car. I think that would have been amazing to perform for the Dublin people. But um, obviously, you know, <clears throat> like you said, the atmosphere. And of course, you guys have a huge superstar, a training partner of yours, um, the notorious one. Of course. How has, how has he um, helped you? prepare what inspiration has he set for you and also training with him to help sharpen your tools what has he implemented to you to uh, prepare you i mean the the, the main thing that I, uh, I can take from just be around him you know and 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 it's the approach that he gives to to, to training you know it's it's small details that are huge details especially for for this upcoming fight you know against the own he uh, he spent even more time than, than normal in, in in the gym, you know, um, and it just you know it's it's not about 
techniques or this on that it's it's about small little things that not not everyone sees but it's details that makes a huge difference that is about the approach that you give to certain things then the, the the approach that you give to to the training the approach you give it just it that's that that's the main thing that i i, I was like I have a pleasure to see you know from from the outside you know just and close it's it's there you know the approach that he that, that he, he gives to, to things that um and that can, can i that i i can apply for myself you know and and i know that applying that is is going to give me big improvements so the, i would say that that is the biggest thing to be uh, close by close to him and 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 and, and see him working you know that's that's the main thing <laughs> Right, um, before we go, is there anything you want to say? You want to say anything to the people back home in your uh, home country? No, I just, you know, I always like to to um, thank all the support, you know, from my country, countrymen, you know, por every every Portuguese man, but also all all around, you know, from Ireland, United States, and what every for every, I receive a little support from all the corners of the world so i just i'm just thankful you know for everyone they've been so kind to me in this journey and, and like i said just the best is still to come i'm only on the beginning you know just pay, pay attention and keep waiting i'm coming all right man hey, thank you once again for your time you know wish you, you all the best for me. you're welcome wish you all the best in your upcoming fight uh have a safe and healthy camp and um you know, get to see you and get to see you live in person at your fight in Connecticut. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Right.